Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome to Return One Way Trip. So recently, during these past days, I played the demo of this game and I was really impressed with what the game has to offer. Apparently it's a survival horror adventure game, the, the art style is incredible and the story is seems to be quite interesting and I, I, I was really looking forward to it and now it's out but today we're gonna do something different because this is a game that not only am i interested in it but my wife is interested in it so today my if throughout this gameplay that this let's play my wife is going to be playing the game with us and because i played the demo and I play through the first 30 minutes of the game, my wife is, go is going to be voicing the characters through this part. So I'm gonna present to you guys my wife, Ashley. Hey guys, <laughs> uh, nice to be here. Just as Jeremy said, uh, my name is Ashley. I am his wife and I am pretty excited to start playing Return One Way Trip. This will be my first time not only recording part of Let's Play, but actually playing this sort of game. Sort of. I've had some experience, but not too much. Okay, so yeah, let's get into it. she could scream, a huge, slimy claw clamped over her mouth. The creature dragged her into the shadows, and she was never seen again. Utah, why did you tell such a scary story? Hello, we're sitting around a campfire in the middle of the woods. What do you expect? I think Saki prefers romance. Who ever heard of a campfire romance? That poor girl, never seen again. What if that's us? What if we never see each other again? What are you talking about, babe? We're done with school. After this trip, we start adulting. The scariest thing in the world. Most of us have jobs in different cities. Sen and Saki get married. We may never see each other again. Don't be such a downer, Kanai. We could never lose touch with each other. Ah! What? 
What the? Did you guys see that? How? Saki, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. It just startled me. You okay, babe? Besides the heart attack, I'm okay. How could that have happened? I don't know. Maybe there was a gas or oil in the world. For an infernal geyser like that, the wood would have to have been soaked. Didn't smell any gas or oil. Did any of you? Not I, man. It was scarier than your story, bro. Scary or not, I'm getting cold. Maybe we should just turn in then. We're out of the wood anyway. But Sam, shouldn't we have a fire burning all night? You know, to keep away wolves or something? It's okay, Saki, there aren't any wolves. Or zombies? drawn to the fire. Maybe, but they burn easily, so we could just set them on fire. Stop making fun. I'd feel safer if we had a fire. Sen, please? Of course, Saki. Okay, let's scrounge up for some firewood. Can we just wait for zombies? Have our firewood come- have our firewood come to us? Wow, lazy much. I thought we'd go in groups. Us manly men will go this way to the right. Girls, you go search to the left. Manly men? Please. Saki, let's go. Maybe they'll get eaten by zombies and we won't have to put up with them anymore. It's too dark, Saki. Grab your flashlight. My flashlight should be in my backpack. Yep, here it is. Might as well take my notebook too. This wood is way too wet. We'd better keep looking. There, this is dry enough to burn. Let's head back to the campsite. tree up ahead. It doesn't look like a leaf. Hey, look at this. An envelope. Oh my. We probably shouldn't open it. Why not? Uh, bad luck? Don't be silly. Let's see. Wow. What is it? It's a haiku. And it's addressed to me. Listen to this. My dearest Saki, you rise like the sun, bright, warm, nurturing. My love now is meant for us. Wow. 
nice. But a little she's fall if you ask me. It's sweet. I love it. Do you really? Of course. How could I not? Wow. You really are a romantic. Falling for that stuff. But how did you get it here? It must have fallen out of, Sh of Sun's backpack and the wind carried it away. He'll be so disappointed if he thinks he's lost it. But I know, I know. When we get back to the campsite, I'll slip it into his backpack. I don't want to spoil his surprise, so don't say anything. Okay, I promise. Just toss these on the embers. Great, the wood's burning already. Yes, let's slip that into the backpack. There, I've tucked the envelope in Sun in Sen's backpack. He'll never know it was missing. All right. Cool. As always, girls getting the job done. Looks like the girls beat us to it, guys. Oh, we just got lucky. We didn't have to go far. You didn't get lucky. We let you win. I didn't know it was a competition. Come on, babe. Think about it. When don't boys have easy access to wood? Ha! Huh? Don't be disgusting. I'm sure there's a scary campfire story in there somewhere. Something about a fiend that burns wood. And on that note, I think it's time to go to sleep. We'll just let the fire burn down and... What's this? Oh no. You don't have to pretend, son. Kanai and I found it near the lake. It must have fallen out of your backpack. It's a beautiful haiku. It is. Whoever wrote it, whoever wrote this has a major crush on you. But I didn't write this. You mean... You got it off the internet? No, I mean that I didn't write this. Someone else did. Someone else here. I wonder you did this. Saki's my fiance. Trying to steal her? I sure didn't write it. I mean, I love you, Saki, as a friend. But Kana is my girl. Was me, I swear. I mean, there's not a romantic bone in my body. I don't believe you. Spill it, Utah! Wait, what? Whoa, cowboy, can't be Utah. You're gay anyway, right, buddy? Who are you? Kazuki! Sam, don't. I've seen the way he looks at Saki, especially on this trip. I'm guessing that's why he came alone, now that I've seen you with a girlfriend in forever. You crazy? I'm serious, I literally couldn't romance a stone. You're killing me, son. I've never seen you like this, son. Is that why you follow us around like a puppy, hoping maybe Saki will leave me and you'll swoop in? Right, like I would, that would ever work. Get it through your head, buddy. We're getting married! Sen, why are you being so mean? He's our friend. Maybe I'm not your friend after all. Maybe I never was. Just, what is your problem, man? I should go after him. Now, 
give him some space. Maybe we're all just overtired. Especially one person I can think of. But Saki, just go to sleep. Send. Yuta will be back. I will sort it, sort it out then. Will he be okay out there? Yuta will be fine. We just need to calm down. Tomorrow, we'll all wake up and be friends again, like always. You'll see. was very creepy. It felt so real. What? What's that? An earthquake? Can I? Guys? Sen? Do you feel that? No one's answering. What's going on? Where did this fog come from? Everyone's gone. Sen? Kanai? Kazuki? Maybe they went to look for Yuta. Might as well go after them. The girl's tent. How can I leave without waking me up? Sen? Can I? Is that you? Yuta? You better not be trying to scare me. How? Oh, this wasn't here before. Maybe the earthquake uncovered it or something. Mommy. What could have happened? Huh? Is that one of you guys? Or some animal? That wasn't a person, I hope. What's that floating in the lake? A log with something stuck on it? Trogger. Must have floated to the surface during the tremor. I can just reach it. Crocky. It's some sort of weird knife. Over here where we're from, that's also known as a machete. stinking flashlight. I'm a big girl. Wow. That earthquake really did a number on this forest. I'll never get through those vines without something sharp to cut them. If only we had found some sort of machete before. We did! A kukri! 
The blade is rusty, but it should cut through these vines. They always do. Who? Hey, this isn't funny. Whoever that was ran this way. I'm gonna be so mad when I find those guys, especially Sen. I hope they're all right. <laughs> Who's there? I got a flashlight. Think about it. Flash you. What the? A train? Out here? Where did that come from? It's old, too. Must have been here for years. Maybe I just got turned around in the fog. Let's see. I'm alone in the dead of night. Considering entering what appears to be a rusted out and probably dangerous, unstable old train, recipe for disaster. You know, main character with sense, but you know, she's still gonna do it. But what if my friends are in there? Knowing them, they ran into this, forgot everything, and just started exploring. Looks like I don't have a choice. I better check if they're in the train. Okay, so basically, for what I can, from what I can see, uh, the the demo really covers like the first part of the game. My wife is doing a really good job at the voice acting, which is, <laughs> which is more than I can say for myself. But I wanted to tell you, Ash, that I have uh, a, a hypothesis that I think that Yuta is related to whatever evil is behind this. Because out of all the characters, yeah. he was the strange one. He was a rejected one, and he he didn't seem to take it very well. At least um, when they were when we had the discussion in the campfire. I mean, but rejected? How like how so? Because the only thing that we know so far is that. He's, you know, like gay, and that he's not a romantic. That's that yeah, but, they, but he wasn't rejected. I mean, like, uh, at were... least I saw it that way because the uh, other guys, the the other guys had girlfriends. He's the only one who's there alone. Yeah, he keeps insisting that he has no romantic bones in his body, which I don't know if that if that's like um foreshadowing something. I don't know. It just to me it seemed kind of weird. I know it's it, it's supposed to be like a normal expression. I just don't. I, I just feel that I shouldn't trust him because okay. he's the only one who doesn't have a couple and who who would have. Uh, a, he he just seems. I don't know. Maybe I I don't know. I, I just feel that feel that he's maybe he's evil or he, or he has something to do with whatever whatever it is that we're going to find here. Well, I I I don't agree entirely with that because uh -huh. I actually you know as soon as I saw that ghost girl I like immediately thought about Sashiko from Corpse Party. Yeah. And I've I've never played Corpse Party. I, I've seen other let's players do do, you know, uh, le uh let's play, you know, of the game. But I pretty much think that this might be uh you know, that entity and that she feeds off negative emotions and the, okay, the fact the fact uh -huh. that they had that big argument that sen actually got uh really like jealous and he like immediately thought oh then it has to be yuta because he's the only one that that you know that's single and didn't come here with a with a significant other then he must be hitting on my girl and it's like um, you know, not necessarily, <laughs> you know, that's not it. So I, I just, you know, 
pretty sure that this is just an evil entity that feeds off. Okay, but going emotions. going going with your line of thought, this game reminds me of Course Party too, because it's the setting is similar in the sense that it's uh, an evil demon girl, which yeah. I don't know why Japanese horror is so fascinated with that. Uh, it's a group of young, uh, youth of young people, and they get into this. Uh, a supernatural place and they just face a lot of bad stuff but that, that, that it, there tends to be at least one human that despite them not causing whatever it is whatever supernatural thing is haunting them he the, he tends to align with it okay and I, I feel that going with your line of thought that maybe it's this entity is going to feed off their negative emotions I'm, I'm suspecting that maybe there's going to be one person in particular that's going to be like a strong fountain of negative emotion yeah. despite all of them feeding it in some sort of way I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe Yuta's going to be like that you think Yuta's going to be the one like that you like the fountain it's an like idea the source, the source of the no I don't think the source I don't think it's the source I just think that he's going to to have a lot of negative emotion anyways it's okay, just an yeah, idea could be, let's, could let's be. just keep playing and we'll be. we'll keep bouncing off ideas it's just a yeah no, I, I i get you i get you because he's the lonely one and whatnot and, and i can get where you're coming from it's just that you know sen just upright just got you know so jelly mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know i don't know if the young people are saying jelly still but you know for all of you youngsters out there that that means jealous i better find my friends first no, you just turn around and leave. Leave your friends for Yeah, dead. but there, there's there's like no <laughs> common sense in this in this in movies and horror games. How old is this train? It must be decades. I can taste the rust and mold in the air. What was that? Come on, Saki. Get it together. You're just letting this place get to you. Like Sen always tells me, I just have an overactive imagination. So, hopefully, that was only my imagination. Hopefully. It wasn't. Tin of paint thinner. How'd that get stuck there? Well, I guess I'll take it out some other time. Yeah, because I don't have anything in my inventory for that. What's going on? Is... is that real? It looks like it's clutching something. Pry it open, it's dead. Uh, you know, real realistically speaking, um, you know, I, I've had the opportunity to touch 
not human corpses but animal corpses and I, I do have to to attest to that you know crunchy sound that they make when you're trying to relax those muscles after they've gone you know into rigor mortis well that's a detail that I didn't need to know <laughs> we get crunch after we die I guess if I have the right tool I can pry that furniture apart to get through the right tool what could be the right tool Oh, well, let's go to the janitor's closet. That's why I got a key. Poor janitor. I guess he needs a hand. The crowbar. The most important item in the video game. Crowbar be enough to move all that junk. This crowbar should help me pry away the furniture. The doorway is clear. Something's written on the back. Now, Jeremy, I have a question, very serious question. You know, I know that, you know, you're a psychologist, and I know this isn't exactly what you practice in psychology. It's not, you know, uh, how do you say, the uh, theory that you operate behind? Mm -hmm. But the, uh, you know how psychoanalysts go like, okay, draw me something, and depending on how you draw that thing is how they interpret your problems with your mom or your dad or whatever sexual problems you might have <laughs> but uh you know speaking from that point of view do you see anything in that drawing okay first of all i'm not psychoanalysis is not my strong suit usually you would there, there are there are certain tests projective tests that you do that you can ask the patient to draw a family picture and in this case I guess the only thing that I would point out is if you look at the picture the little girl is distanced herself she's she has some distance between her mom and dad so maybe that would mean that she doesn't feel connected to them she doesn't feel close to them and between between her mom and her dad she feels a little bit more connected to her mom because she is closer to her mom than to her dad but she feels distanced from them but at the same time she perceives them very close because her mom and her dad are drawn literally very close to each other that, i guess that, that's the only thing i would say beyond that there's not much else i could say but i have to insist on it's not my strong suit <laughs> okay well thank you thank you for that insight i thought that i could see my collectibles maybe in the notebook yeah there we go bright moon in the sky. We sit side by side, then dark. Who is gone? Moon? Them? Me? Beautiful. Such a beautiful poem. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see later on in how the game plays out and we, we, we check the drawings again to compare what happened to with what we saw in the drawings. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. Well, let me go to the toilet. In the ancient toilet, there is a hole in the side where the handle used to be attached. The bowl is a stinking pool of blue-black liquid. An object seems to be submerged there. I dare you to stick your hand in it. That's disgusting. I wonder what's in there, but no way am I sticking my hand in that muck. You lose the dare. 
The stained bone dry sink. Alright. Let's go look for a plunger, I guess. Or why can't we use the crowbar? Let's see. Can I use a crowbar? That's nothing. That that's the problem, you know. Sometimes video game characters aren't so creative. enjoy the same things we always have. I see now, however, that we enjoy these same things in different ways. He savors tastes, I indulge in aromas. We stare at each other eye to eye, our faces inches away. Even so, neither of us can see each other. Hmm. Interesting. Neither of us can see each other, like, as if they were blind or something? Like, literally blind? Maybe? A tiny noose. That gives me the creeps. Ditto. Dirty wooden door, it's locked tight. There's a shape of something or someone just barely visible through the peephole. Is that even possible? Can you peek through peepholes? Can someone please answer that in the comments? Hey! Someone in there? Sen? Yuta? Can I? I can see you. Are you okay? Open the door! Who's in there? Sen? Come on, you're scaring me! Whoever it is doesn't reply. It seems to hover in place. I want to say that when I played the demo, there's something I didn't notice with this. Uh, I found it strange that the person is hovering. I thought maybe it's a monster or something like that. But now looking at it, it's probably someone who hanged themselves and they're just wobbling there because it's a oh, hanged body. I'm pretty sure it's that. Swing in there. Oh gosh, that's real gruesome. Yeah, and that, that's one of the things that I'm not sure of, of regarding this game. I'm not sure how gruesome the game is going to get because at least the, the part that I played through the demo, it's just a beginning so you don't get to see much but I, i'm not sure how hardcore the game is going to be if nah, people are going to die you know. or the character is going to be saved or if there's it's going to be gory I, i'm not sure what you know what type what of level, game it's going yeah, to be in that what sense level gore if any will be presented yeah but you know that's what we expect from these games in the first place so let's see how it, how it does a blood red splash of paint <laughs> paint quote unquote Partially obscure something carved onto the door. I'm gonna peek. Come out, please, Sen, Kasuki, are you hurt? There's no reply. The figure remains still and silent. Oh no. Oh, it's okay, I'll, I'll leave for now. I thought I could read that newspaper next to him, but, you know, the text box covers it, so I can't really see. The lock on the store has rusted, and it can't be opened. And if I run to the face, stares back from the shards of the broken arm. Ugh. Those dark circles. I need some sleep. I hope we find I find the other soon. A stained but empty toilet bowl. The toilet has a handle, but there's nothing to flush. Hmm, take its handle. Let's go back to the other toilet. I mean, I know that that's just gonna flush it, but you know. One plus one equals fish. Oh wait, did I not? No, no. I think it's this one. Here we go. Alright. The handle 
once snaps into place. The toilet flushes and drains the dark muck. Hey, a pair of shears. You. <laughs> And they still look sharp. They're still a little slimy, but I bet they'll come in handy. It's locked. Oh, okay. Let's see. A small piece of paper is sticking out from under the platter. My dolls are my friends. Her friends were my dolls. That way we could play. Always. It's rotted away now, but I bet the food was very fancy back in the day. I'm never going to get through the store. Why not? <laughs> what if sense in that locked room hurt and unable to answer me? Oh, okay, yeah. Go back. Oh, what? Oh, that's up there. Uh, notes? Is that. That looks like a, a wrench. Does that look like a wrench to you in the background? happened. Just keep walking. The lock contains a built-in mini safe. If I could get something through that maze, I might be able to open the safe. If you can get something through that... Uh, oh, wrong button. Uh, shears! It does nothing. Is that you? Hey, Saki. I've been looking all over for you and everyone else. Have you seen them? No, not for a while. Just been looking at this book. I imagine it was a poetry book. Haikus, love poems. The people on this train were alive. Some of them were in love. Uh, are you okay? It's just a pile of rotting paper. I mean, are you still mad at Sun? Not that I would blame you. No, no, I'm not mad anymore. I'm over it now. 
I'm over a lot. I guess I'm still sad though. Sen didn't mean it, I swear. He can be a little jealous, and he was overtired. <laughs> That's you, Saki, all the way, excusing Sen. That's not fair. I didn't excuse him, I, I told him he was being mean. I suppose. That doesn't mean you quite confronted him or defended me. Hell, only Kasuki really came to my defense. Ouch. I'm sorry. I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Or anything you don't mean, anyway. You were just being a good fiancé. You make that sound like a bad thing. I suppose it's not. But have you ever noticed? People start out as strangers. Then they become friends. Then they become girlfriends and boyfriends. Then... The word friend disappears the closer you get. Fiance, husband, wife. No more friends. You are really worrying me, Yuta. And I am your friend. Yeah, I know. Huh. Well, listen. Let's just find the others and get out of here. Someone's in the cabin with a weird lock on the door. I can't tell whether they are trapped or hurt. It might be Sen, or Kasuki, or Kanai. Hell, it could be a dressing dummy. But we need to get in there just in case. Okay, tell me what to do and I'll help. Okay, follow me. Yes, come, come with me, Yuta. Oh, wait. There's a bolt underneath the folds. Oh yeah, the little tin. A tin of paint thinner. <laughs> That's a mouthful. A tin of paint thinner. <laughs> it's tangling something. It's got the paint thinner. It's strapped there for now. Okay, let's see. Crowbar! Does nothing. Cheers. Yay! Oh, right, because it was stuck in the curtains. <laughs> the shears cut through the thick curtains. A tin of paint, thinner, bangs on the floor. Oh, it's one of those, okay. That worked. Let's go. That's the food. Thought we could just forget about that shadow figure, but I guess we can't. Story mission. Remove that paint. Paint was diluted. Hanging figures. What could this mean? <laughs> Do you see that? Cute little tyke. But, Yuta, what's a kid doing in here in the middle of the night? Sleepwalking? Can you be serious for once, Yuta? Our friends are missing, and this place is freaking me the hell out! Sorry. Thank you. Now, that kid ran towards the dining car. Let's check it out. is completely empty. It's always party time somewhere. Zip it, Yuta. We're seeing things. Now we're starting to hear things? Oh my gosh, why are they so mean to poor Yuta? He's just, you know... 
What? Another child's drawing? Where did this come from? It was my first trip. Many take journeys so long. Some will never end. Another quake? What's causing the muta? This one's totally messing with my equilibrium. I'm getting dizzy. I feel so weird. Yuta, I think we're going to. F mm, I see why you're suspicious. Yeah, I, I forgot that we uh, that I played through this, so maybe that's part of the thing that. Uh, okay. <laughs> made me suspect Yuta. Uh, destination path. And where am I? This looks like that old rusted out train, but brand new brand new. It can't be. There must be another train. It has to be. I'm sure someone here can tell me where I am and how I got here. Okay, so what do you think of, of, of the game up until this point? Oh, it's really good. I like it. I like the mystery. Uh, it actually also kind of, I mean, like I said, it, it kind of reminded me of um, Sachiko from, from Corpse Party. Not, But not in a Corpse Party sort of way. I mean, Corpse Party, it's thing and so on and so on but uh it has a creepy you know uh haunted house vibe but instead of haunted house it's train uh it also has kind of like the mystery like always murder mysteries on the train so let's see how they all get murdered you know like uh and it also kind of takes me back to the uh Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, just like a chapter on a train <laughs> okay. trying to solve a, <laughs> a mystery. <laughs> I and I, I think trains are a good setting for a horror game. I, I, I said in the demo that not too many horror games use trains. Some of them have used them, Resident Evil Zero is an example of that. I, f I feel it's, it's a setting that is not explored enough and that it's actually pretty interesting. And I'm, I'm intrigued because now we're going to start seeing things from the past. So maybe we'll get to actually see what happened. And that's that's always interesting. So we're going to leave it here, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this because we're going to keep playing through it because it's a really interesting game. And I'll see you guys next time. Well, thanks for having me, love. And yeah, I'll see, we'll see you guys next time to play Return. Boy. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.